Wolf Crypto, man. It's, we are in September. COVID 19 is bugging to the max power. And uh, over here in the crypto space, we, uh, <laughs> the market has been interesting to say the least because right now we have taken a huge drop off. Uh, I would say it's like a Black Friday sale here. Um, if you were looking at a total market cap perspective, I mean, right now, currently, according to coinmarketcap.com, we are at 330 billion. Pretty sure we were just at like 300 and maybe what 75, 72 billion around that range, somewhere around there. So, we're looking at just 40 billion, just. See ya. But today, it's the greens are. It's hard to explain this, man, because the greens are crazy for certain coins. Like I'm looking at chain links up 19 percent. You know that was just at like 10. I think it was like, like what 10 dollars, some low. But I mean that high of. I remember when chain link was at 17 dollars. So I'm just like, whoa. Ethereum's kind of rebounding a little bit. It's at 354. Bitcoin is, oh, it's at $10,283, folks. That's just a, it's a steal. Hello, it was just at 12000 Hello. Um, again, I got, uh, got to say this. I try to put emphasis on this. Man, crypto is really changing. Your boy's, your boy's life, man, is, ah, the money really makes money in the crypto space, man, and it's just, compared to, like, you know, using a bank, for example, and I gotta, gotta compare it to a bank, because, you know, that's, that's another source or place people hold their funds, right? But, ah, uh, it's always just annoying going to look at your account and it's like well it's not really it's no money being made like where's the interest at man I'm a, like my money's not making no money I'm, I'm just unless I put money into it that's that's the only way it's gonna make money I just don't I just can't rock with that man I can't rock with that concept not when money's constantly being Circulate, use, like, man, it's, uh, it's got to be a way. But that's the thing, though. Oof. When it comes to fiat, dollars, and all that good old stuff, there's a problem with it. There's just the amount. There's just so much of it. According to old boy at the, what, the Fed, Treasury Secretary, that fool was like, <laughs> we got limited money. Huh, I don't know if that's a good thing. Then I look over here, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Stable coins, I found a found a niche for them, man. I found a, a purpose for them. And uh, the way I've been using them, man, I'm just... I got these two platforms I'm using right now. Nexo and Celsius. You guys might have heard me talk about Nexo before. I don't know if you guys... I don't know if I've talked about Celsius quite yet on here but those are those are what I would call my crypto bank accounts those are my crypto banks so same concept as a bank that you know I have with Navy Federal Credit Union even LBS and all that stuff it's, you know it's all the same same concept put money in there and you're expecting money to be made right well with the banks you know, APRs and all that good old stuff. What are those, what are those percentages at, man? Like zero point something. Like you're starting off with zero. 
come to my crypto banks, the minimum we're talking maybe maybe what two percent minimum. I'm talking about minimum, folks, not maximum. Uh, so when you have these two same exact financial ways of we use and transact our money with but one space is a little bit better than the other one and it's better because of not just only the technology and the fact that all these coins you know they're they're scarce there's only a certain amount and I gotta say just you know even when we have these big dips man I'm just like eh it doesn't really phase me as much it's more like go buy more on a discounted price and then just wait again until it peaks out, sell off again. You know, it's just like so I'm always getting constantly asked, you know, how do you how do you live off crypto? You know what I gotta tell you man. I just upgraded one of my Bitcoin crypto debit cards and I got like maybe two more on the way. But I have three of those. Two of them are MasterCards, one of them was a Visa one of them I get 2% cash back thanks to MCO. Oh, when they had a cash back like pilot program, but I'm gonna try to press them to see if they can maybe bring that back. Cause I'm telling you that, that cash back is, it's a good feeling, man. It's another way you can get some crypto. That's that's the thing. So I know a lot of people think that, you know, I just trade crypto and I'm like, nah, man, I, I use these platforms as well to earn crypto. That's why I'm able to live off crypto. That makes sense to you. Put two and two together. I'm in the space. I got like the Brave browser, man. I've been been using it for a while, folks. Been using it for a while. And I'm just like, you know what? I made about probably like a hundred bucks out of it, I think. Somewhere around there, like a hundred dollars minimum. Minimum. And I'm thinking to myself, how much have I made from Google and Safari or Firefox or, you know, any of those browsers that commonly use day to day all the time? It's like, hmm, I don't get money coming in from them. So when you start to get into all these different realms of crypto, I'm telling y'all, man, it's, it's a different feeling. It's a different feeling. Knowing that my money is going to be constantly working. I'm earning interest. I'm earning interest every day. With Celsius, I get paid interest on every Monday. Next go, interest is paid out daily. So that's, that's the... That's the other room that I'm also in that I like to be in just for the fact that it's just like, man... No matter what the market's doing, that's going to be constantly going up. And you can see how much interest you're earning. It's just like, man, you can you would ever see that. You could never see this with a bank. All these Chase and Wells Fargo, Bank of America, like yo, this type of stuff that I that I'm involved in and what I see on a day to day basis, it's really mind boggling. It's mind blowing. Some of this stuff's probably going over people's heads. And it's kind of like that first until you start to understand what's really going on. Because I'm telling you right now, as the mainstream adoption becomes a normal thing and, such, and not such a foreign thing, becomes common, that's when it's going to get scary. Those are the days I'm waiting for because right now it's, it's, been, it's early. Been in the market for a couple of years now, been in the space for a couple of years now, and I'm just like, whoa. I'm telling y'all right now. To experience what I'm experiencing, if you guys get the chance to experience that while being in the crypto space, I'm telling you, it's going to make a lot more sense. So I'm telling y'all right now, we getting close. We getting close. Your boy got promoted his job though. One time for the one time, but 
telling y'all crypto space it's the bread and butter especially in times like this I mean everybody's looking for a job everybody's looking away for money everybody thinks oh you can only trade crypto you gotta trade crypto make money nah 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 there are platforms out there that are just the same as the ones that you use it every day but they're on the blockchain now you need to earn some crypto for using the platform all that time you spent curating and doing what you do best unless you know you got a big old audience but not everybody has a big audience So how do you expect those people to really earn? That's also kind of the nice part about crypto as well. Um, on the earning side, uh, like I said, there are a lot of different platforms out there where you can earn the crypto and then, you know, go and exchange it for a different crypto of your choice. Like it's really, it's really up to you. But personally, uh, what's done for my financial situation it's it's really improving it and then some of these coins man <clears throat> especially these stable coins some of them are pretty uh pretty cool and pretty neat just for the fact that you're able to kind of just use them as like cash like just the same thing um, some of them are backed by, uh, different things and stuff of that nature, but, man, I gotta say, just, the fact that I could go to a different country and not have to worry about foreign transaction fees, because, you know, there are none. Uh, with all three of my Bitcoin crypto debit cards... There's no foreign transaction fees, so I don't, I don't gotta worry about. Hey, I gotta call my bank, let them know. Like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going overseas, man. And they gotta do all this. It's like, nah. I could just simply just go over there, pop up, boom, swipe. Cause Visa, and Mastercard. I mean, let's be honest. It's accepted pretty much everywhere. And I think that's the reason why I think you're going to start to see more crypto uh, debit cards or crypto cards just in general because to really get this thing mainstream, I think that's going to be the easiest way people can just know how to use it. Um, I think the I think a lot of people's heads right now still it's kind of a, well, what what can you use it on I'm like man I be buying all the normal stuff that I'm accustomed to buying right now with my bank account like I be buying gas with it food drinks weed I mean name it it's pretty simple and you can get cash if you need it but it's like ah uh, Cash, man. I don't know if it's really gonna be here in the next couple of 10 to 20 years. Especially after this pandemic, man. Let's keep it real. We all know money's dirty. It's been in some of the most filthiest places. And now we got this pandemic, COVID 19s out here just whooping us. But I gotta say, the MCO card that I have, earning 2% cash back, and I believe I'm eligible for like a spot for a reimbursement. Like, oh, I think they pay for the subscription. I don't know, I gotta look at it, but. I have upgraded, folks. I got the Ruby Steel, and that thing is kind of, it's got some weight to it. I'm not going to cap it. It's got some weight to it. Because 
decided to start using that a little bit more often. Because the what even the one percent cash back, I probably what I believe from using the card, especially more compared to when I first had it. I gotta say, I probably earned at least like a hundred bucks on one percent cash back, at least. But that's the thing, since it's cash back goes into that particular coin and it's on exchange as that price went up. Whew. It's looking kind of nice. But I'm definitely on the hunt to get more stable coins just for the fact that on most of these platforms that I consider my crypto banks were basically, you know, earning this interest. I mean, with those stable coins, you're looking at like, ah. Uh, you're normally looking at double digit when it comes to uh, APR, APY, like it's, it's pretty nice. Like on um, Celsius, I believe it's like 11.55%. I think on Nexo, I think they're like all, I think they're all 10%. I think the crypto side of things is all 10% on, uh, on there. On um, good old Nexo. See, that's the thing. I'm waiting for Nexo to drop their, uh, they're supposed to be dropping a uh, card as well. And then I was on Twitter as well earlier. And I seen that Melpay might be dropping a card as well. So see, the fact that all these different crypto companies are about to be start, starting to drop cards that you can use your crypto with, it's just gonna, it's gonna make entering that market so much easier for some of these people. Cause you know, some people don't wanna really get involved or, you know, get HK on the technology, which is, you know, no knock or anything, but that's just their personal choice. The fact that you can get, you know, crypto debit cards in people's hands, hey, you know they're going to swipe that thing. Especially they know how it works. And I'm like, man, when's that one coming out? The Nexo MasterCard debit card. I think the Mel Pay might be MasterCard as well, so... Seems like MasterCard is doing a lot of different deals with some of these crypto companies on the low low. The reason why I say that is because, you know, two of my cards are uh, MasterCard Uphold and BitPay. Because BitPay just upgraded their card, I believe, this year. And their other one was with Visa. Now it's with MasterCard, so... Interesting to see uh, that MasterCard and Visa, like I said, it's on the, it's part of the crypto debit card world. Um, you know, constantly, oof, constantly earning, even on Nexo, yeah, I want to say all stable coins are at 10%, I believe, I gotta double check, depends on how much Nexo is in your account, but be earning now basically what we would consider cash just, I mean me it's, it's just that's just gonna be nice and that's the nice thing like you can look at all your stats as far as all your interests all your dividends like all this uh, I tell you man I'd be telling people, like, you don't need a whole lot, but if you had it, cool. If not, I'm telling you, you get your money in crypto, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work for you. And now that's more of an outlet to uh, people trying to join up and all that. Who would have thought cryptocurrency, like, would have been doing all this? That's another thing, like, we're talking about that Kami has, you know, Kami's doing better. But it did take a, take a dump. But when these dumps happen, you know what to do. I'm looking at some charts right now. I mean, here, look at Cardano. Cardano's at nine cents. I think it was at fifteen cents, man. 
Tron's actually been doing pretty solid. Tron's at three cents. That's, let's go ahead and check on the Tron because I got some Tron on my Nexo account. And I want to say by the got the initial investment back already, if I'm not mistaken. But let's log on in. Doesn't look like it. Which is interesting. Oh, there we go. That yeah, chain link gets it's slipping, but Tron, look at Tron. If I'm not mistaken, I might have made up for Tron. But Stellar, <laughs> it's at seven cents. I mean, uh, Stellar's another one that had a pretty solid run. Monero's down again. I had seen Dash was down. The Neo's at $17. That was over 20 bucks. Cosmos going back up again. Nim, Nim is doing, Nim has been growing on the low low, I feel like. I mean, we're looking at 13 cents. This thing was struggling at like what? Mm, two, three ish. I think that range, two, three, four cent range. All of a sudden, Iota. I mean, that's the thing. There's a lot of green today, folks. V chains green. Even V chains up four percent. But I gotta. Right now, guys, I'm telling you, I'm on the hunt to just get some of these staking coins, stake them out, low prices, and then. From there, kind of watch to see what happens. But Ethereum also has, I think, something that's getting released or it's already released. But Ethereum was under what? I think it might have hit three ten, three twenty, somewhere around there. Talking about Ethereum that was just at like what four. 440 range and then it's just like boom back to 500 because the theory can be scary when it gets to a thousand but I mean let me just go ahead let's just have a nice little ontology ontology is at 64 cents I believe that was at like 75 dies up and down hmm Algorand, oh yeah, Algorand had a, ooh, Algorand had a nice run, because right now it's at 37 cents, I'm go ahead and look this one up, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they might have got up to like, I think 75, 77 cents, that's, what's going on, nah. Where is it at? Uh, oh, yep. 70 cent range. 70, 74 cents. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's gotten up there. Now it's right now. It's just. It's tanking, but I'm looking at the 90 day. And 90 day is saying that, uh, hey. It's not good. It's not a bad position to put some money here, and if you know what I'm saying, because Aldo had a oof. Telling you that run, that last run we had, I tried to sell some Bitcoin. I don't, don't, I don't think it went through. Um, but whew, Algo's a coin that was very fun. Energetic, and that thing was. I was like, oh no, I thought I was gonna hit a dollar, but even at uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Tezos. 
That was the other one, Tezos. Tezos right now is it's going down, but Tezos is another one. You stake that bad boy. Get them staking rewards. Even right now, it's at what two dollars and fifty nine cents. Try to get the last. Ooh, ooh, four bucks. This thing was at four dollars. We're talking about two sixty. Ooh, talk to me, nice. So like I'm saying, there's great entry points right now popping off. I'm definitely going to try to enter. And that's nothing too. With these staking coins, it's got to be a strategy. At least for me, personally. Um, like this money can be touched, but do I really want to touch it unless it's an emergency? Because with this interest, man, I think I might have figured it out. And this extra... Extra cheddar cheese start coming in. It's gonna be a little different around here. I'm telling y'all that right now. I'm giving y'all hits up, boys, ladies and gents. Now, nah, but that's gonna really wrap it up for this episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in, listening in. Again, the coin, the coins are down right now. We're on sale right now. We're having a sale. Um, like I said, the market cap is. It's kind of low right now, but ooh, can't emphasize this enough. Do your research, especially when it comes to these different crypto projects. But I appreciate y'all tuning in to the cast. Until the next time, y'all have a good one, y'all.